This is Gene Key, KDDD News. A major project aimed at carrying wind energy across the Lone Star State is finally underway thanks to construction of transmission lines in the Panhandle. NewsChannel10.com reports most of the power harvested here will be shipped downstate to places like Dallas and San Antonio, paving the way for significant changes to the energy supply in Texas. It will bring thousands of additional megawatts of wind power to Texas. AJ Swoop with Class 4 Winds says the reason behind the lines is additional wind power for the state. To be exact, about 18,500 megawatts of additional wind power statewide, and then here in the Panhandle, we can expect about 5,500 megawatts, which is about five times more wind power than we currently have in the Panhandle. The line should be complete by the end of 2013, but parts may phase in before that. Early voting started Monday in Texas. There are several amendments to vote on. Two of the major issues are water rights and higher education, but there are 10 total. You can vote early through November the 4th. Election day is November the 8th. All good things must come to an end, and that includes the State Fair of Texas. According to the Associated Press, organizers say it was a good run this year. The annual event started September 30th and ended October the 23rd. It's estimated that fairgoers spent more than $35 million on food and rides this year. That would be just short of last year's record-setting $37 million. Nearly $4 million was spent on the day Texas and OU faced off at the Cotton Bowl. This is Gene Key, KDDD News.